For more about all of this, we are pleased to be joined again tonight by Ahmed Kamal. He was a Pakistani diplomat for 40 years and was Pakistan's United Nations ambassador. He is now a senior fellow at the United Nations Institute of Training and Research. Ambassador, welcome back. Pleasure. The uh, Pakistani government, the military specifically, has been waging war against the militants, Islamic militants, for a while now. They've had some success in the Swat Valley. They've also uh, helped in taking out one of the Taliban leaders. And yet, the Taliban seem to be more determined, perhaps even more effective than ever. Does yes. that concern you? Oh, yes. It's a matter of very deep concern because they are now striking at the center of gravity of Pakistan's power. Let's say the government, the military headquarters, etc. Now, basically, this is a psychological tug of war between two parties. On the one side, you have a government and an army and a people who are basically secular capitalism, believe in secular capitalism. And on the other side, you have a significant minority, minority but significant in numbers, who want a return to sources in fundamental change in social behavior. And so these two forces are in contest with each other and they are now indulging in terrorist acts. Now remember that the objective of terrorist acts is not to damage but only to create chaos and panic and to show up vulnerabilities and to point out we can do it. Well, I always ask you this question but it, it always seems pertinent. There is concern, of course, the fact that Pakistan is a nuclear-armed nation. And in fact, the British Foreign Secretary said this weekend that the militants pose no real danger as far as obtaining any of that nuclear material. Would you agree with him? Absolutely. Uh, in fact, the nuclear so-called danger is not a non-issue. Why? That's not the problem. The problem is that this contest is not about taking control of government or taking control of the policies of government. It is basically an attempt by a minority to ask that Pakistan abandon two or three things, one of which is its close relationship with the United States. And the other is that this government should somehow achieve greater popularity than it has at the moment. So not to bring about the fall of the government, but to change the way the government is headed. That's right. Let me ask you this. There were protests last week uh, by Pakistanis who were protesting against the $7.5 billion five-year program that the American government is providing to Pakistan. Why would Pakistanis be opposed to that? That is serious. It is serious because the bill which is the Kerry Luger bill, was negotiated by the government of Pakistan and its ambassador with the United States. And it contains a certain set of conditionalities which constitute deep interference by the United States in the processes of government of Pakistan. In other words, it impacts on the sovereignty of Pakistan. Now, the government of Pakistan made the serious error of not taking its own parliament into confidence. And so now when the bill has come out in public, there is outright revolt in Pakistan. So the Pakistani people don't like the strings attached. Absolutely. And uh, I am absolutely sure that heads will roll as a result of this serious diplomatic error by the government of Pakistan. Ambassador Kamal, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.